This is Twit. Aaron Schaefer wrote, saying, Steve, you seem to be entirely unaware of Apple's. <laughs> I, I, don't, I never finish emails that begin that way. <laughs> I know. <laughs> He, okay. he was you seem to be entirely unaware of Apple's state ID program for Apple Wallet. Several states already have it deployed. A digital version of my Ohio's Ohio driver's license has been in my wallet for the last year, for example. The state of Ohio has a free app that someone else can use for me to tap my phone to their phone to verify age from my from that digital ID. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems that all we need is some kind of API call to do the same validation for websites. Thank you for all your good work. I've been a listener since episode one, Aaron. Okay, so Aaron was completely correct in concluding that I had not been keeping up with the state of smartphone wallets and existing efforts. So I spent some time since seeing this note, looking into what's been going on in that space. In California, as in Ohio, we have a digital driver's license program. It goes by the abbreviation M, lowercase m, capital DL, MDL for mobile driver's license. And it looks like that's going to be a US wide abbreviation. There's a California DMV wallet app for both Apple and Android phones, and it offers a system known as True Age. I installed the apps under both platforms into my iPhone and into that $39 Samsung A15 smartphone that I had just purchased that I talked about a couple of weeks ago for Android, and I configured it. The app setup was quick and easy. The apps required me to show them the front and back of my California driver's license and to then pose for facial recognition while it brightly illuminated the screen in various colors which were reflected off my face. Once that was done, the apps were satisfied and I had effectively installed a biometrically locked digital driver's license into my phones. Next up was figuring out what True Age was all about. The True Age system was developed by NACS, the National Association of Convenience Stores, together with a nonprofit entity known as Conexus, C O N E X X U S. Conexus is a retail focused technology standards developer. Today, NACS and Conexus, or together, NACS and Conexus developed the True Age technology for retail for the retail convenience store industry, you know, to support the purchase of age restricted consumables such as alcohol and tobacco. In bragging about true age, they explain, they say, quote, true age verifies only age, not identity. It does not store name, address, eye color, etc. Unlike many legacy ID scanners that may capture over 30 personal fields. The encrypted token cannot be linked back to you and data is not sold or shared. Unfortunately, however, the cannot be linked back to you portion is not entirely true. I was immediately suspicious when I saw that the token presented was described as a single use encrypted composite consisting of the presenter's driver's license number, whoops, the issuing state, the license expiration date, and the presenter's date of birth. And sure enough, the CA.gov FAQ page says in answering the question, what happens to the data you do capture? They answer, true age encrypts your data points and then protects them even further by creating anonymous tokens. These anonymous tokens cannot be traced back to you without legal authorization <laughs> oh. from a from a court ordered subpoena. So they can be traced back to you as a matter of fact. Exactly. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, but you have to have a court order. <laughs> yeah, they 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 finished saying neither retailers nor cashiers retain any of the extracted information. Hey, I hope you enjoyed these little highlights from our shows. We do a bunch of them, and they're all available on the web at twit.tv or right here on YouTube. You can even watch most of them live on YouTube. I'll tell you what, you'll see a link below. And if you would like, and I would like it, like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.